say about 12 inches last night and about four more on top of it. It really doesn't look like that much here, maybe about eight inches last night and another couple today. Just two weeks ago. She goes, yeah, and she goes and play that all around. Hey, Susie! Yeah, she be happy. Hey, Susie! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! So, I thought it was me. Come on! Talk to me! Talk to me! <laughs> Put your foot on it, Bonnie. Put your foot on it, Bon. Now what, Mommy? Right forward. There you go. Look at me and Debbie. Like that. Look at me and Debbie. What do I do then, Mommy? Mommy, what do I do? Just a minute, Nathan. Every, he'll, we'll tell everybody together so everybody hears. Everybody got poles? Nathan got his poles? Alright. Now get your skis. Right? 
skis, they're not standing on each other. There you go. I can get my skis on myself. It's just That's boy. Just, now you just, just try sliding. Let me, uh, let me get some skis on. There you go. There you go. Very good. Get right up on the grass, uh, up on the snow. I have to stay with the snow, no. but there isn't much snow. I can't quite climb through. Whoa! We'll have to go on a hill. Get up on the snow. There you go. Whoa! Come on, baby. <laughs> Wait a little bit, Jeff, until that's the way. Now wait a minute till Nathan gets a little bit out of your way, and then you can go a di or go a different path. My friend taught me um, how to walk on Go ahead. Good girl. There you go. You're doing very well. Snow on the paths would be would be great for them. Yeah. You know? I hope you make sure. Well, hold on to this part of your pole. Maybe you're pulling yourself up. Pull yourself up. This is bad here. Now you gotta like pull yourself up. Just a minute, Katie. Want some help, get back up? <laughs> you got a problem with your ski poles, Deb? <laughs> I think Dad did this. <laughs> Down 
Breaking trail, Deb? I love it. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, look. Shall we call Lee? I hate it. I hate it when I... Careful, I careful, Nathan. There's Don't somebody behind you. Can I just say I'm having trouble? Well, this one back. back I'm one having one. trouble. I'm having trouble, Mom. You know what? Trouble. If you go up there, you're going to have trouble. Why don't you stay down here until Mom gets a good path down yeah. yeah. okay? okay? She, because it's hard breaking the trail. Okay, when she gets that all packed down, good, then you can go on the trail. See, it's from the snowblower, it's stiff over there. Yeah. They can't go around in a corner. <laughs> around a corner. <laughs> That's what Nathan said. <laughs> Jeff, so he has a little... Hey. Good, Jeff!
Johnny, you better meet place else. No one of these twelve dollar poles, that's just what they're worth. Yours? Cops keep coming off. Boy, these need wet. They won't they won't slide at all. down the trail. He's not showing you to do that. Yeah. <laughs> no, Aunt Debbie skis on people's toes. 
Well, I do too. Famous for that. <laughs> You do too. Don't you dare do that to my mom. Yeah. Just a little harder, Jeff. Keep jumping. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeff, Jeff. No. Keep holes are too dangerous. To play with. I shouldn't have done this. Both people can do this. That's your mother brings out the worst in you. <laughs> Trailblazing, Mike? Yeah. Is it still on? Yeah. You think I can do it, Dad? Huh? You think I can do it? What, turn around? I imagine you can. Now we can do it. This is time Somebody one time that was skiing and standing beside the trail, minding her own business, and somebody else came by and caught her ski on the bottom of his pole and pulled him right off from under it. She'd never done anything to deserve it either. How rude! I'm trying to get my shoe on my ski. Are you kidding? 
I've never been snowshoeing either. Can I do what? <laughs> Now, does this count as skiing? This is too tight. <laughs> oh, I'll put him back on again. Oh, no. Look at that. It's depreciated. It has. <laughs> but who knows? It might be worth more. Never saw it now. I have it all. Da 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 da. Oh, look at those socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Whee! You know who that hey. is? Hey, Jason doesn't know who it is. That's Grandma Jean. All I see is skiing in poles. I can't find him. She looks, she looks a lot like Parker Cargill, doesn't she? Yes. What happened to you? There he is. How are you doing? Nathan? No. That's where they're skiing right now. You stay in the driveway. Right in the road. Isn't that something? You, you go around here and down there. Hey, now we're really taping. We weren't before. What? Taping. <laughs> we're practicing. <laughs> now we're live? Mom! We had some video difficulties, now we're live. Technical difficulties. I'm going to No, I didn't. Oh. Wow! He's off. It's on. <laughs> there we try to the comeback trail then. This is the heart trail. H A R T. Comeback trail. Heart. Fucking Gary. It's all right. Mom didn't get it at first either. You have to explain your jokes. They don't work very well.
Yeah. Let's pick some up in the hands, Okay? Yeah. Hey, put your hands in the hands. Put your hands in the hands. Put your hands in the hands. Put your hands This proves that the ancient monoliths found in Glens Falls were not made by terrestrial human beings, but probably from by alien creatures from space. I keep falling in. Can't you reach it? Get some snow, Nathan, and stick it up there in the pack. Unretouched pictures of aliens creating monoliths. These are the same people that worked on Easter Island years and years ago. They very, very, very a mild relationship to human beings, but notice the small stature of some of them. And the funny growths on the head of some of them. This one has been ostracized by the clan and forced to create his own monolith by himself. Herself. Whoops, herself. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh. Boy, you doing good. <laughs> Another feature of these monoliths is it's very difficult to determine their gender, as anyone can see. The alien culture features frequent internecine attacks upon one another, which keeps their numbers down, so that is the main reason they have not infiltrated the entire universe. You can't have a little bitty head. Now eventually this duel to the death will result in elimination of one or more of these miniature aliens. No way! I think the one that's down is the one that's going to get it. Lucky for us that they participate in this barbarian behavior, otherwise we would be overrun with them and we'd have no room for ourselves. The tide has turned. Perhaps we'll lose two of them. Uh, this <laughs> we'll notice that one of the larger members of the of the clan, emphasize the word larger, has taken pity on the ostracized member and is assisting him with his project, her with her project. Because <laughs> if she doesn't finish her project, some kind of terrible torture may ensue. Known as sleep. Sounds like we just lost one. Jeffrey is a is a is a is a chant that these Jeffrey. people think. There, see, it's some kind of a it's some kind of a prayer. He's calling on their God. You make it over there. The entire crowd of smaller creatures had been ostracized to over there. <laughs> Notice the one with the purple skin. She seems to be doing most of the detail work. And that, that apparently is one of their leaders. You see the large nose and the top hat. It looks, it's, it's worn by people. How you doing, Kate? It's February 17th. The kids are out playing on the snow pile. This is taken through the kitchen window, so there may be spots on it. See the sun shining through it.
Over here they're doing some repairs apparently. sculptures and all the little nooks and crannies inside but apparently at this point they've been to street in the Burger King parking lot. February 18th, I think. <laughs> Sounds good. We've, it's after lunch time. We've been up the slope several times, maybe five or six. And it's really a nice, beautiful day. Claude, get in your skis, huh? This is one of the summit chairs that goes to the top of the mountain. It's the only one that's running today. And this is the lift line for the summit chair. Not really too bad, but we're going to take the beginner's, which is here. And this is the top of the novice chair. We came up here so we wouldn't have to carry the camera as far. You can see a lot of little folks coming up to it. I didn't get him. These are condominiums. Apparently if you uh, buy a condominium, you can ski Bromley. These are interesting things. They're single skis, kind of like surfboards. They've been going out. Here goes somebody on one now. I think he's the instructor. Oh, he's smooth, huh? Distance there. I don't know if that's Magic Mountain or what. It's some mountain, though. Some ski slope. Told to get a picture of the clouds and the ski slope. And the ski slope. Combination. There's those weird single skis again. Here comes Gene. He's gonna come down here and meet me. Oops. She comes. Look at that turn. Wow. Oh, she ski nice. There's one of the things on the ground. The ski bunny. Whoops, carrying both poles in my hand. And there's some more condominiums. That looks down the bottom of the mountain. Jane. And she's going to come down here someday. She can get nervous now. I don't know what she's waiting for. I'll wave better with my poles. Come on down. Come on down. 
she moving yet? Here she comes. My arm's getting tired. Doesn't look very distinct in the viewfinder. He's trying to, try to kill a cameraman. There he goes. He's going to go down. And I'm going to try carrying the camera down Hi. after him. Hi there. That should be How interesting. Nice to see you. Hello there. Hey, Dad, we should get one of those. And he's over the top of the hill and he's going down. These are some more condominiums on the way down the hill. This is the one we just bought. I like this one right up here, right straight ahead. That one? Okay. Yeah. Take that one. Right okay. Okay, here we go. Bill's up the hill. He's coming down. I was almost wiped out by a couple of men on those ski boards, but uh, I'm here. Here he comes. He's the one with a red hat. And I can always find him because he's got a red hat. There's another view down the mountain. Skiboard coming. I can't see. Oh, there he is. Good one. That one, yeah, just stand here. that one didn't do anything. He's got a couple of downed ones here. They're resting before they go the rest of the way down the mountain. Ooh, look at him go. Wow, a wipeout. <laughs> That's all right. You try that, Jesus. Yeah. No, thank you. You're gonna try taking some pictures while you're skiing? No. No? I was gonna I was gonna just try it just over this. No, I know better than that. Okay. Lower right hand side. Who oh, said you can't ski with? Come on! Another view of the line at the summit. Over there is a tunnel we have to go through to get to the park. Took you the whole mountain. Oh, you want to walk? I want to walk? No. Some big skiers and other things. Non-skiers. Medium sized skiers. And down there are little bitty skiers. They're coming. <laughs> now those are little skis. Here we go. Well, maybe we're not 
not going too far today. These are the skis of people that are eating lunch and will soon be competing with us for spaces on a lift line. Here comes a determined one. Jean Claude Jean taking off her ski. There, you got that one, huh? to take the camera back inside and put it in the locker. Who is that masked rider? I was here too. Hmm? You were here too. I was there. Oops, you went off. From the porch, apparently they usually have it covered at some time during the year. This is the shuttle that takes you from the parking lot. This is the front. Line. Okay, these are the tired skiers going home, long day on the slope. They don't have to walk to their cars, they get a lift. And that's the uh, summit chair, presently stalled. That's a lot of fun. There goes the shuttle, all loaded. And you see it goes down there. And it goes right underneath Route 11, I think it is, right underneath the highway, and disappears. Now the lift is running again. People are going up for one or last, last run or two. It's about three o'clock. Here we are in a tunnel. I don't know what that is. I think that may be Wildcat. Or uh, not Wildcat, but Magic. There's another one over there. It's the other end of the tunnel. And there's the summit. See the summit way up there? The round thing on the top. There goes the shuttle back empty. Why is our yard bare when every other yard around is full of snow? Snow everywhere. But not in Potter's front yard. It's March 13th. 1988 and the snow has started to go away a little bit. As I said, the front lawn is clear. The backyard, well, that's another story. Bill's putting a coat of wax on the snow blower. The paths are getting wider, but it's still pretty wet underneath the snow. I just took a trip out and back and the crocuses aren't up yet by the greenhouse, but it's wet, wet underfoot. Tulips are out in the front though. Ah, yeah, well, they're up an inch or so. It's the 19th of March and we're taking the cap off of the truck. It's cold out here.
halfway, huh? Go get a couple of cups of hot water. But now the saw but now the sawhorses are frozen into the snow back there that we want to put it on. We did it. Some, some kind of information. I'll have to I'll have to pause just a minute and give it to her. Excuse okay. me just a moment. But what, 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 what bat girl? We need two babies. We need a doggy one and a rabbit one and we need a kitty one, a bear one and a bunny one and a doggy one. That's a, okay. That's a proof. That's fine. Why don't you go acquire them? I can't find the doggy one. You must be a doggy one somewhere. Did you look in your mommy's bedroom? There's the referee again. What uh, For what time's the game going to start, ref? Somebody said he was up to the right. What's the name of the, uh, the the roughest player on the team, the one you give penalties to most often, you know? Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. Yeah. Otherwise known as Stonewall? <laughs> known as Nathan Emerson. Andrew Jackson is known as Nathan Emerson? You mean there's another Nathan Emerson in the team, and, and you're the referee? Yeah. And there's another Nathan Emerson that's a player? Yeah. You're getting me very confused, you know. Now, how, are you, Excuse me, I can't eat this. Well, if, 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 there's, if there's another Nathan Emerson on a team, and you're and Nathan Emerson is a, is a referee, isn't that kind of confusing? Well, my name is Andrew Jackson, but... Nathan, there's only one Nathan Emerson, but... That's, that's thankfully so. I'm certainly glad to hear that. Which one is the referee, Andrew Jackson or Nathan Emerson? Andrew Jackson. Time. He, he gets, he, he, he's, he's, he's a rather bad player, is he? Yes, of course. He keeps kicking someone down on the ice and smack, breaks the windows of their, um... Helmets, breaks, breaks the their helmets and stuff, smacks him with his stick. But does he ever score? No. He he aims it right at the goal, at New Haven's goalie stick. And it smacks it right into the Amherst. And what, what team does he play for? And Amherst. What? Amherst, you see. Amherst? Amherst. I don't know that team, I'm afraid. Where are they from? They're from Rochester. Oh, I see. Well, why do they keep him on the team if he's, if he's so bad? Well, actually, the, he likes being on New Haven. Is he a crowd pleaser? Yeah. Uh, 
He likes to be in the crowd. If, if, if he has to stop in the middle of the game to be one of the crowd. Uh, that's really a crowd pleaser. Yeah. But he always gets penalty. I see. Well, it was very nice talking to you, uh, uh, Andrew Jackson. Uh, Andrew Jackson, the uh, Andrew Jackson, the referee of the. Uh, uh, what league are you referee for, Andrew? Amherst. Amherst, a referee for Amherst, and uh, he's really a tough referee apparently because uh, they have more penalty time than any other any other any, any other anybody else in the league. Anyway, we have to go now because we have another interview with a famous jockey, Nathaniel Emerson. Okay. Hello, my name is Miss. Hello, my name is Nathaniel. I play in cocaine. You see, cocaine. It's like a jockey, but you play with a putter that try to hit the ball, you see. Is that like bowling? Oh, no, no. Golf? No. Curling? What's curling? Curling, you play with these big stones in the ground and you hit them with brooms. Oh, no, no. What is it? What did you say the name of it was? I'm afraid I didn't understand you. Croquet. Croquet. Oh, I understand. You're a croquet expert. Croquet. Croquet? No, croquet, I think, is the way correct pronunciation. You play that with a big wooden ball, right? Yeah. And a, and a, and a mallet. Yeah, and you yeah. try to smack it off into a hole. Are you good at that? Oh yes, I'm the best player they have right now. Do you ever get to be poisoned? What? What is that? Well, you know, when when you uh, when you go all the way through and hit the stake with your ball, when you go all the way through all the hoops and hit the stake with the ball. Oh yes. And when you do that, if, ever, if anyway you're poisoned. What does that mean? Anybody that you hit with your ball has to start over again. Oh. No, I never get poisoned. Never get poisoned. Uh, turn out. There were a lot, of, a lot of times you get a little... Yeah. Right. Yeah, because when Rob was doing the uh -huh. anniversary party, he forgot to turn it off, yeah. and he had the sides of the house yeah. and the grass. <laughs> That's right. Joy said she'd put it down for a minute, a few minutes, and forget about it. And then one, two, fifteen minutes, and you may have anything on it. That's all right. It's low light. <laughs> I don't know whether they'll come out you, at all. How do you transfer so you can't hear to on oh, your oh, telescope? Oh, it's Nathan, hold it a second. I'll go to the bathroom. Okay. What are you doing? Eating this. In the morning? Easter is the only day you can have candy in the morning. Easter bunny. What does it do? 
what, can, what can you feel? A heart. Heart. Really? Mm-hmm. Would you like a bite? <laughs> That's delicious. Katie? How about if you treat these animals like new toys so they won't get old? But they do get worn out. Hey, look at this big bunny. <gasps> I think I oh, saw that too. <gasps> look. Look. Oh, you can see it? The heart. I think oh, I saw this too. Hmm. Mommy? Yellow, white, 
grab a black man. I don't eat. No eyes. No. I think that's okay on candy ones. See it does. Pick up the window. Up so you can see out the window. <laughs> Easter eggs! How are we going to get them? Got to have something on. Two! 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 I thought Three. we just have to have our boots on. What are you doing? Mommy, we can't go out with, without, without our clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with squeeze our socks on the floor. Ah! Here. Going through the door. I got a head on me, so my head. You have to. Oh, oh, oh. No, it sticks. Yeah, I do. Oh, this one, though, isn't it? Yeah. Picture the flowers. If I can zoom up. I don't have a zoom. No Easter eggs. No, no Easter eggs. Let's look in the No, I don't think you would have taken the time to open the garage. I think he hid some in there. Maybe he only had time for two. Chocolate 
Can I have all these? Sure. Here. You can have these chocolates. I like chocolate. I just like these two. I like these two. Yeah. Let's go. I like these two. <laughs> Are they crunchy inside or just chocolate? Just chocolate. They're, they're crunchy inside. What, Mom? They're crunchy inside mine. What? It is. See? Watch again. <laughs> what, Mom? Watch, Mom. This will be a slam dunk. Yeah. That's what I said. The sun's bright outdoors. I love mommy! What? Let's ah. go to the side of him, Nathan. Now I'll take one of the shoes. Ready? Whoops! Oh, Katie. Katie, Katie. I love mommy! Okay, Nathan. It's me. It's me. Now your Easter candy's gone. Why don't you get your basket so I can tell it's Easter? I'm going to say about it. Stay there, Katie. <laughs> April 20th, 1988. Mike is six years old. Mommy, I want everybody to come down here. Hi, Grandma. Hi. Happy all birthday. the signs. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Mm, thanks for our presents. Whoa, bonk. His big present. <gasps> but I have a big present. I'm going to open up Willie's. Wait, Willie's. Willie's. That oh, new one, too. A big long one. I'll show you it right now. Here it is. <laughs> Whatever they did, they take this stuff good. Boy, for Daddy and Grandpa? I'm opening up for my letter. Come on, come on. I'm opening up for my letters, Grandpa. From Willie's present. Ooh. Nice car. I'll try and read this myself. Ooh, look at this. Wow, you know it's ten more of these things you'll be able to drive. I'll go open it up first. What's that number on the front? A little. It's like a nine from here. It's a six. I'll read the front to you. Oh, okay. It's like a nine like this. That's an upside down. I'll read it to you. I turn you turn off. The nine can turn six. Can you turn into a nine? No. If you turn you upside down, do you turn into nine years old? No. Want to try it? No. <laughs> I've tried it before. Oh. A little bird just wanted me. A little bird told me you're, you're six this year. Now you read A little bird told me that you are six this year. Happy birthday. Love. Mm. Love it, share. And talk the pump. Oh, well. Now you get to own this one, I think. Listen. Listen, listen, 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 listen.
else in my bed for summer. Okay, I'll open up this one next. Does okay. this have a card that goes with it? Yeah. No, that's for mommy and daddy. I'll open it. 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 Open
A two-way microscope. Two-way. Okay, let's try to put it next. Put it on the table. Thanks, Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> You're welcome. Is this from you? What's the piece of it? I got one of those. Thanks, Grandma. Mom, look what I got. I also got one of those. Oh, that's good. Now you got the defense against my gun. <laughs> Squirty, squirter, water gun. Come on, get off of here. Pogo ball. Pogo ball, and you want to go? Thanks a lot. Big black ball. I like that one. Me too. Uh, where shall I put this one? Maybe break it down in the chair. Um, uh, and throw the paper away. I know it when we have to open that, Mike. What? Carry on. Let's open it. And see, see. for carry on. No, Mike, don't count on it. It is for carry on. I know it. Don't count on it. For carry on. Box, anyway. For carry on. For mommy and daddy. Yeah! <laughs> you! <laughs> I wonder what that one is. <laughs> 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 Another brown paper box. Hmm? 
What does it say, Jeff? I don't understand that. Doesn't it say anything? Get the picture upside down. Just... Let me see. Come here and look at the picture. We have the picture. <gasps> Down there. I see. Look at the picture. Down over Come by the picture. Front, you, you. <laughs> Let Mike figure it out. Look at see this. Where do you think you should have to go? That's hard. In the tipper. That's other stairs, isn't it? Mm -hmm. that, but that would be if it was these stairs, right? What are the stairs going to be? Hmm. Well, so our stairs. There you go. Well, there's another stairs. Yeah, you're trying. Let's go down here. Put your shoes on if you go down the cellar stairs. I'm not going to go down. Oh, okay. I'm going to go look. It must have been just too dark down there. You okay, Mikey? Hey, buddy. I'm yeah. coming right on you. Too much from me right now. You're not don't rock. Very well there. <laughs> don't rock, Graham. <laughs> He's looking for another handout. Make a wish. I 
Yay! How old are you? <laughs> Can I lick them? This one's almost extinct. <laughs> somebody used to sing back at All bedtime stories, I'd go to watching. sleep a lot sooner. You could tie a knot in your tail and carry it. That was the little black sambo. So I could, said the tiger. She'll give it to me that. and I won't eat you. The tiger took little black sambo's beautiful green umbrella and went away saying, Now I am the grandest tiger in the jungle. <laughs> Poor little black Sambo went away crying because the cruel tigers had taken away all his fine clothes. Presently, he heard a terrible noise. Oh, oh dear, said little black Sambo. All the tigers are coming back to eat me. What shall I do? He ran to a palm tree and he peeked around and all the tigers were fighting about which one was the grandest. At last, they got so angry, they took off all the fine clothes and began to tear at each other with their claws and bite each other with their big white teeth. Arr. They came rolling and tumbling to the very tree where little black Sambo was hiding, and he jumped behind the umbrella. Oh, May 12th, 1988. Big Cross Street School. Yeah, yeah. Look good, look good. It's been a great day. Yeah. 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 Connected the bathtub and it's out on the little upstairs porch. Hopefully, it won't go crashing down the stairway. And you can see it at the top of the stairs. Bathtub go! Great bathtub caper starring. Jean. And William! <laughs> Out the hall we brought it. You want? Through the doorway. There's a bathtub behind you, he said. Oh! <laughs> now we're going to kick it off the top step and watch it go tumbling down the stairs. <laughs> well, it's it heavy. Takes a little while. Takes a little while. Where's our other thing? The other prop is up ahead. Way up ahead. Okay, that's enough till we get it.
You want a crowbar for something? Down the truck, Gene. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait till I get out of the way. This is what I can see through the back of the truck window but I'm supposed to be driving the truck that's holding the bathtub from crashing down the stairs. Okay, it's part way down the stairs. That's a good thing, leave it right there. Nobody will try to get up those stairs. <laughs> What's hooked, the ones in the front? Slacking. Where? What are you going to do with it now? I'm open to suggestion. <laughs> Make a shrine. Let's put it back. Yeah. You know any virgins we can put in there? <laughs> You don't want to put it back, do you? I don't think so. Have a good-looking tub. How are the stairs? They're shot. Okay, you'll have to put your camera away now because I need your. Mm, that's it, and there it is. Splash, splash, I was taking them back. 1885. 88. The last three years. Oh, well. 1885? Here goes Susan, Willie. No, Willie was around in 85. It's an island not too far from Puerto Rico. Home? Yeah. Oh, so that's, so that's why I bring in some 
something else. Oh, what did you bring? Put some butter. Oh, good. Hi, Nathan. Old men can't do oh, things like we used to. <laughs> oh, you're not old yet. Oh, that's right. I got another couple weeks. <laughs> Hi, Deb. Hi, Mom. You gotta watch yourself now. Your mother has a camera, you know. <laughs> we'll get her in it later. <laughs> <laughs> Wise guy. <laughs> Cut off off her hair. Yep. My hair's I guess gone. so. It looks nice. Yeah. Grown in. Yeah, it does look. <laughs> it looks nice. Like yeah. It looks neat to bike. Cool. Bike. Well, well, when I would go to the kindergarten, Karen had a bike at her house with no training wheels. So he would practice and practice and practice really hard every single week. Oh, and all of a sudden one day, Joey. You can take a picture of my nose. That's what I got. <laughs> Hi. I want to try this on you. Can you come here? Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Susie has a good one. Susie has a good one. Susie has a good one. Oh, isn't that cute? Somebody came. You need a birdie, Willie. Shorts. I read and agree. The orange light is on on the lower left hand side. That's red. If you're take well, if that is on, you're taking pictures. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm that. taking pictures. Good. <laughs> Now the bottom left is on. The bottom left is on, that's when you're taking pictures. You were staring at that indoor light while trying to take the pictures. I know, but I thought it was, uh, that there wasn't quite enough light. Oh well. One of you got kicked out of the cinematography field. 
not quite enough light. <laughs> we are hardly going to get more. Still yet, ma'am? Not yet. She's working on it. Travis Blake keeps pushing mine off. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Is the light on in the lower left hand side? Yep. Okay, then you're taking pictures. Sure. To stop, you push the button again. Right. I saw you. <laughs> Take a picture of me trying to fly with you. Take a picture of your dad. Yeah. yeah. Turn it off, will you? Did you want to tell you about the skin flicks they had? No. Oh, well, sit down. <laughs> sit down right here. Is it necessary for me to sit down to hear about it? There were the, the stars I heard. Oh, yeah? Whoa! You didn't tell Pop? <laughs> My bear's in the cat. Oh, that's what we cut out. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's found her around like a Randy seen food, man. He just stood right up. Randy, you're Oh, my God. 